Hi friends, it's Donna. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Okay, as promised last night during uh, the auction, during the selling event, I have an amazing double box. I just took it, dumped it on the counter, looked at a few things, looks really interesting. I'm gonna share with you what's in it. This is gonna be a great box for anybody who likes to sell small things on eBay and all of the other selling platforms. Um, we're gonna explore it together. Let's see what's in it. And I'll give you instructions at the end of the video. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Okay guys, let's dig in. All right, so let's see. The first thing is this, this clock. Oh, it's a pen. It's a pen. It's really cute. Don't know if it's old, it looks old. They don't make stuff like this anymore. Okay, and uh, the little Bible, how adorable is that? That is very, very cute. This is one of those items, folks, that I always say, someone's looking for this. Looks like some repair work has been done on it. I'm not going to take it apart to see if there's anything under there, but um, nice little leather bound. It's very sweet. Here is a coach. Guys, you always want to try to put your finger in so that you don't, in case it's something that's old, use something or use your fingernail to open it up so that you don't rip it apart. This looks like it may be vintage. It's definitely coach. It says coach right on it. I'm not gonna snap it shut. I'm gonna leave it open because if you open it and close it too often, you could damage it. And I don't wanna damage it. Here is a leather bass keychain. And this is just plastic. Oh, but it's got this spot on it, like, you know how they have those, like, worry stones that you rub? I think that's what that is. Doesn't look very old. Let's see what's in this bag. I think I'm going to do some of this stuff. I'm going to show you some of this stuff, and I think I'm going to leave some of it as mystery. I'm not going to um, unveil all of it. Who's that? Who remembers that? Those clowns. They do look familiar to me, but I don't remember. This is a very tarnished uh, lipstick holder with a mirror. There I am. Can you see me? Hello. Let's see. Let's see if you can see me. There I am. Hello. <laughs> um, And this, I don't know what kind of coat of arms that is. Let's see. I don't know if it had a clock in it at one time or if it's intended to be for pictures. If it's just a locket, it's definitely old. Does anybody know what that coat of arms is with the sword and the star? I certainly don't know. Well, let's see here. What else do we have? Oh. Imperial Council Session, Orlando, Florida. Oh, is that Masonic? Is that a Masonic hat? I'm not sure. Are these Mason's coins? I'm not sure, but this is what's in here. 1976-1977 National Association Legions of Honor. Commonwealth, our first year of our third 146th 
meeting. I don't know. And then there's a couple pennies in here. Looks like they're Masonic. Hmm. Put those markings on the pennies. Not quite sure. And that. Another pin. And another pin. Let's see what else is in this baggie. Here we have a money clip. And this is a pin, but it's missing the pin part in the back. I don't know if anybody knows what kind of button that is. And four and five. Five pairs of cufflinks. I think five or six. I don't know. And this pretty vintage metal jewelry fox. Farrington, genuine, made in the USA. Very cool. Okay. Let's see what else can I grab here. Toronto, 1989. Imperial Council. It's a it's a belt buckle. It's never been opened. It's still in its original packaging. These are great. These I looked at. These are composers. Look at these, how beautiful they are. They have the composer's name. Maybe they're copper and brass. And they say on them, this way. Oops, this way. Made in England. So you get one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, I pledge to vote American Legion Metal Political Button. It says $10. I pledge to vote. Interesting. There's a bunch more of these. Freedom is not free. Freedom is not free. Oops. There's a hockey team. And some American flags. <clears throat> Excuse me, here is a bag. These look like little tiny mugs and there's a little lighter in there. And I don't know, some other little doodads. Here are a whole bunch of keychains. Plymouth Plantation Mayflower. York Beach, Maine. So, yeah, just a bunch of keychains in there. And what do we have here? Some sort of coins. More small coins. Some a church key. A couple more little ones in that little baggie, some lead to uh, lead pencils, I think, made in Italy, that's probably worth looking at, <clears throat> excuse me, 1968 Olympic Canadian Mexican keychain, says $20. Let's 
see what this is. A lighter, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if anybody knows what that is. It says peacock on it. What is that? I have no idea. It comes with this case though. <clears throat> I have no idea what that is. Here is another bag full of all different vintage pins. It says 11 hockey pins. They're definitely old. All right. This one says American Greetings Thanksgiving Turkey Made in Hong Kong. $8 on eBay. All right. More pens. An old bottle that says Lana Wax on it. Air Force pin. Nineteen eighty three Rustberry Leprechauns. Some leprechauns. Like I said, there's a lot of small things here for people that like to to list small items. This is a little jackpot. Take like a penny. I don't know, you guys will have to explore. I love Bill. What is this? Canada. One of those coins from those machines. A duck. Some thimbles and marbles, it looks like. Put those in there. Vintage Premier Design. Looks like a necklace. Sweet and low container. It's inscribed. Columbus, Ohio. I don't know what that was intended for. Some hawk pins, gold hawks, some vintage pins, a lobster belt, is that precious moments? The Miracles of Jesus, small little book, printed in the USA, 1949, tiny little book, the Religious Lollipop Series, that's so cute, let's see what this is. What is this? Does anybody know what this is? Looks like some, maybe a passport or something. I don't know, some, maybe German. Another pen. Maybe it's two little wooden balls. I don't know what those are. 
for the significance of them. This is a rain hat that they used to probably give out years ago. And look, there's a whole bunch of them. <clears throat> Wonder Bread. Yep, that's what they have, they're rain hats. This one's empty. New York. This watch is in this lot. It's a fossil and it says it works. And yes, it does work. More rain hats. This one says ship pins. Pens, 1998 New uh, New York Yankees 35th World Series pin. That. A used sage. Maybe it goes like that. Maybe not. I don't know. A little ashtray. Don't know. An old bottle that says salt. Don't know if that's salt in there or not. I wouldn't use it as salt, but the box is beautiful. It's got a dragon on it. Very pretty wooden box. These I did take, take a peek into, so I know what they are. They are ashtrays. Isn't that cool? Patent pending. I thought those were so cool. They don't make ashtrays anymore, so these will definitely be collectibles. And I think, I'm not sure, but I think there's like maybe 15 of them in this bag. They're all the same. There's about 15 of them in there. And this one is a Hallmark Irish Leprechaun pen. And I have no idea what these are. They look like lens without the lens. I don't know if there's a market for those. This is a diner, little knife, some of these dog tags, these are the real ones with the, uh, the notch. I remember someone told me a long time ago that when a soldier dies out in the field, you put this in their mouth and you put their teeth on that, I guess to hold their mouth open. I don't know, so that they can check for dental records. I don't know if there's any truth to that, but this looks like it was a bullet or something. I don't know what else is in here. Keep saying. All right, that's all going in. That's going in. What is this? Another little pen. We'll put it in with this bag. <clears throat> and some jewelry. This feels like a stone. Or maybe it's glass. But <clears throat> it feels like a stone. I don't know what that is. I don't know it's pretty. Pretty necklaces. <laughs> and the rest in here are just pearls.
pretty. That's probably jade, right? And those are like freshwater pearls. Okay. Just put all this back in here. No markings on the box. Just a pretty wooden box. Here's some Garfield pins. And that's it. That's all I'm going to show you. The rest of it's going to be a mystery. So this is what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to opt this box up. And I am going to take the highest offer by 9 o'clock tonight. Whoever puts the highest offer on the box. I do have a small reserve on it. I'm sure it will meet it. Um, if you're interested in it, if you have any questions, you can contact me. But this box is going to be available for sale to the best offer. All I need you to do is just put your best offer in the comments after this video loads. And I'll be checking it periodically throughout the day. And um, I'll, we'll see who wins it. Who wins it with the best offer in the comments. Please be registered in order to be able to um, bid on this box. Uh, the information is in the description. It's Auctions by Donna. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon. Okay? Thank you. Bye-bye.